What up? I'm here with Adam. Uh, we're at his house, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm like a DIY type guy, man. If I can do it, and it's cheaper, but gets the job done the same, I'm down for that. We're going to talk about a couple things. He's got a DIY shoot blocker, and what do they call these on the internet? Uh, just, it's just a bagger system. DIY bagger system, catch bag. Hey, what's going on guys? Adam here with the Juggernaut. He's going to show you some of my DIY stuff because I'm cheap and I don't like buying stuff that's overly priced. <laughs> Alright, let's get into this. Let's check it out. So, what we have here is Adam made um, a bag catching system. So grass catching, leaf catching, whatever you want. A bagging system. Um, and I don't believe... When you buy these online, I don't believe they're very cheap, are they? No, they're, I think they're about 400 bucks, man. They're all aluminum online. I didn't have 400 bucks to, sh to spare, so. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you get the job done. I've, I've What'd got, you invest in this? I've got rough. I've got about 12 dollars in the pipe. Uh, I think this this is eighth inch uh, mesh. I think that was 30 bucks there, and then uh, any of the anything else I just had laying around, man. Um, the metal up there, sheet metal off of a bedside of a truck. Um, I, I ran into one of my buddies that works at a body shop. They replaced the bedside, so yeah, I cut it up. So on this bagging system, this is just metal tubing. Yeah. Is, what is it, aluminum tubing? No, it's, it's this, galvanized, galvanized steel. Yeah, but I know you're not supposed to weld on galvanized, but you know what? It was cheap. It's just like that, what is this, like half-inch metal conduit, that's it. So. Okay, so it's just metal conduit. So... I guess if you wear a respirator, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not going to tell you yeah. to weld on galvanized, but it, that's what he did. Right here, he's got some metal angle iron on the bottom and on both sides. Just to track the uh, door on this, so you can see it kind of comes out pretty easy. Um, it sticks a little bit, but... Yeah, it's not bad. And then up front, this is where everything comes in. This is actually a piece off a bumper from a truck. Bedside. A bedside. A bedside from a truck, yeah. So... Check that out. So you guys, it already had this shape, or did you bend no, it into shape? No, shape, man. We cut the bedside, we flattened it, uh, cut out the most flat parts of it, and then we just, you know, cut it up, put it there. So it's right there on the top. And if you look through here, it's also along the bottom. Here, I'll just pull this okay. off for you really quick. Yeah, let's show. You, let's uh, see how you detach it now. Oh, that's that's really easy. Do that again. Okay. Let's let's see it from the other side. All right. All right, so right here, you can see he's got a little piece of angle iron, and he's going to detach it so we can see the inside of it. He's got a little piece of angle iron that hangs on the lip of the mower. He's got a little, what I, would, I wouldn't call a dowel rod, a pin, basically, that's welded on, and it slips in. And then there's another one here that keeps it from going down. So let's see this come off. It just real easy hinges up, yeah. and this stays on real well like that? Yeah, I mean, it, it won't come off unless I take it off, so... Awesome. So you can see where it shoots in. It's shooting in on metal, coming down the basket, and uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. On anything, I would say that this is the most important structural part of it. Uh, if I were to have to rebuild this again, I would keep this because this is kind of fitted to the mower. Um, that's that's what everything's resting on too, man. You know, so it works really good. I mean, then putting it on, if I can just see my little hole right here. The hole was already in my mower too, so boom. No, that's Just a really like cool that. design. In that basket, what do you have invested in money and time? Less than 50 bucks. Uh, Time-wise, it's about 15 hours time-wise. Uh, and that was, I didn't know how we wanted to make it. And okay. a lot of that was just trial and error. So so most of that was kind of design and figuring it out because he didn't have a video to go off of. Yep. So If you had your video, then, or if I had your video. I knew I wanted to make it somewhat like the accelerator style bagging system you know okay. um but you know I, I, I have four what are they like 479 i have that to drop on it Sounds you know expensive. so yeah and you got clients that want their lawns bag this time of season right now they you know a lot of them want their leaves bag so you do what you have to do if you don't have a ton of money to invest into a bagging system but you have time see okay as you get busier in business 
you don't have as much time, but you have more money and you can buy stuff. If you are in the very beginning and you don't have a whole lot of money, but you got time, you can build stuff. So yeah. I, I admire that quality. That's how I started. I always appreciate that. And I know a lot of other people do. Now he didn't just stop with the bagging system. He's oh, no, got a shoot whole... blocker as well. Yeah. Well, hold on first. Here's my most liked feature on this mower. Are you ready for this? Yeah, let's see it. It costs about $2. I got a trash can right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did too, dude. <laughs> put a couple holes in it and whatnot. So while I'm going along with my day, I put a trash can on my mower. <laughs> That's no, perfect. That totally <laughs> makes sense. Then you don't have to stop and yep. or shove it fully in your pockets. Yeah. Sometimes I go home and I got a pocket full of trash. Oh, yeah, dude. All right. All right. So he's going to pull the bagging system off. We're going to check out the shoot blocker. Time? Yeah, it's let's so see it one more time. That is, that's cool. Bam. <laughs> Just like that. And that's pretty light. How much does that weigh? I don't know. I never weighed it, but. How I, much does it feel like it weighs? I know. Well, let's see. About 35, 45 pounds, something like that. 35, 40 yeah, pounds? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's heavy. It ain't light. Uh, okay, so a couple years ago. Several years ago, I used to have a Honda mower, and I had a bagging system on it. And I would say this is pretty comparable to the bagging system on the side discharge on that. Um, when I say Honda, it was you probably never heard of a Honda walk behind. It's not an actual 21-inch push mower. This was a big Honda walk behind. But I'm getting off the point. Bags are heavy. Hey, let's give them uh, the back dimension on this before everybody asks. Is 16 by 16? Okay. okay. I don't know what everybody else's is. But this right here is 16 by 16. Okay. So 16 I know people by are going to ask. And that's the only dimension I'll give out. <laughs> <laughs> Just custom fit it to your own mower if you're going to build one. Yeah, everything else would have to be custom fit. Yeah. Now here's, here's something else he's got. He's got a DIY shoot blocker. Now shoot blockers are expensive, right? I mean, they're like three or 400 bucks too, yeah. right? All right, so this is... So between two things... I'm still less than a hundred bucks, and you know, if I were to have bought it new, it'd probably been a couple hundred. I was given the plate steel. Okay. Okay. Uh, I had this rod sitting around. The only thing I actually bought was that uh, knuckle for the socket. Okay. So I didn't use one of my nice snap-on ones. You put an eyelet here, just to track the bar, yep. keep it in place, and it's just a bent piece of uh, all thread. Yep pretty easy and simple design i really like this so the all thread comes down and it's welded to well you you tell me we have right here is uh one of the adapter sockets and then we squared off the all thread down here and then we just welded it in there you know uh plugged it in welded it in so then this goes down to the little knuckle um which is welded which is uh plugged into the socket not welded to this socket but this socket we made some little angle pieces you can see these you know they're just right angles and then we put this piece of metal up here and we made the right angles go far enough back that we know our original pin for our original shoe is gonna fit it so and we just drilled the holes accordingly to this we rounded off these edges put them to this uh, before we did mount it, we did take this and we beat the hell out of it so it could contour to the deck. Okay, so you heated it up Yep. and then beat it to shape yep. so that it contoured to the deck. You got a piece of uh, metal coming up and you just got it at a right angle. You got a couple holes drilled in it and it's welded to this joint piece. This is a socket. This socket yeah. is welded here. It's actually uh, attached to a swivel socket. A swivel joint okay with a an extension that's plugged in here so pretty easy design that's welded to the all thread and it comes up the all threads going through this eye eyelet and uh, as you can see works very well it's got a little bit of bend in it now but so when it's all the way back when you see here you bring it back, and when it's all the way back, that actually moves really easy. Yeah. But uh, when it's all the way back, it just stays on its own. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. This kind of like we made it to where this will kind of like lean up against that. I mean, and then that also makes it to where that doesn't flap all the way back too. So. Yeah. I mean, it just kind of stays. So all that said, if you have the time and you don't have a lot of money, utilize your your knowledge, your skills. To adapt it I mean when you're in lawn care when you're in business in general sometimes you got to use what you have 
or you got to be creative. Your, your money is only limited by your creativity. So if you're broke, don't get down on the fact that you don't have the nicest thing or you don't have the brand new shoot block or the brand new mower or the brand new whatever. Get creative. Use your brain. Use your brain. Use your brain. That's let's, your most powerful tool. Let's hear Adam talk. He's slick on camera. Use your brain. <laughs> <laughs> What's your channel? It's just Adam Devine. Adam Devine. YouTube. Spell it out for me. D-I-V-I-N-E. And if you don't know how to spell it, read a Bible. There we go. All right, you're watching Lawn Care Juggernaut. Lawn Care Juggernaut. Like and subscribe.